This video was recorded on a Tuesday and is being released on Wednesday morning. So that's why Alex is, is there. He sits there on Tuesday. He just, that's where he sits on Tuesday. That's his Tuesday spot. Several new owners of NVIDIA's chunk and big RTX 4090 graphics card have been posting images of the card's disfigured 12 volt high power adapter after it started melting and burning. Which seems a little whiny, like if you're not gonna inhale some magic smoke to get the most frames, are you even a gamer? You can't go on my subreddit. As pointed out by CableMod, Jay's Two Cents, Buildzoid, and others, bending the power adapter's cable too close to the connector can cause some pins to disconnect, distributing more power to the other pins and causing overheating. Cracked them, damn near killed them. Ah, if only there was some way to know that this was going to be a potential issue, like a report from PCI SIG warning that this connector's thermal variance could result in safety issues. If only there was that. There was there that. was that. There was there that. Was Thankfully, that. things are looking up. Nvidia has reached out to at least two of the affected owners, and CableMod is releasing a right angle adapter that will help you power your graphics card without burning down your house. Totally optional, though. Cost money. And even better, AMD has confirmed the Radeon RX 7000 GPUs will not use this connector at all. But what if I want the risk? I could destroy my PC. <laughs> it looks like YouTube Premium's price hike wasn't an isolated incident. Other companies, including Apple and Valve, are also raising prices since the normies didn't have as much of a chance to experience what the GPU shortage was like for PC gamers, the most persecuted minority. Apple is raising the price of Apple Music, TV Plus, and Apple One by one to three US dollars across the board, attributing the price change to increased music licensing costs and what I imagine to be the cost of employing Tom Hanks full time. Next movie, Castaway in Space. He's making so many for them, just for them. Wilson! <laughs> it went through the airlock. <laughs> Valve has also updated its regional pricing guide for Steam developers with suggested pricing in Turkey and Argentina going up by around 450%. This comes after Valve committed to updating its suggested regional pricing more often, so you won't have to feel that gnawing guilt that you were getting too good of a deal on a game. Definitely were. I hate that. Like, is this okay? And Microsoft has officially launched its ARM-powered Project Volterra Mac Mini looking PC, so developers can get to work optimizing applications for Windows on ARM just in time to be two years late for the launch of Apple's M1. It's cool how that worked out. Volterra is launching also just in time for reviews of the Surface Pro 9, whose ARM-powered variant is either finally ready for the mainstream or absolutely not ready, depending on the review. Probably that one. Agree to disagree. Although even if you're not interested in Windows on ARM, the Volterra PC itself might be worth it simply for its hardware. It's got 32 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and a 512 gig NVMe SSD for 599 USD. They are unfortunately attached to a Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3 processor, but what it lacks in power, it makes up for in another way I can't think of right now, I'll let you know later. A certain je ne sais quoi. It's got something special. Expert. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Grammarly, the free app that can mean the difference between an email that starts a never ending thread and one that gets a single, sounds good. <laughs> When you're working remote and the stakes are high, the last thing you want is projects being delayed because of miscommunication. Grammarly Premium's advanced tone suggestions can help reframe your interactions to be positive and solutions focused so everyone's on the same page. All you gotta do is install the desktop app, log in and start typing, then enjoy the boost to your productivity and better work relationships. Because the right tone can move any project forward when you write it just right with Grammarly. Go to Grammarly.com slash TechLink to sign up for a account to get 20% off Grammarly Premium today. Mmm. No, you mustn't speak of the quick bits that way. It's unbecoming of you. It's unbecoming. They're coming. NVIDIA has stealthily launched a new cut down variant of the RTX 3060 with eight gigs of memory and a 128 bit memory bus instead of the 12 gigs and 192 bit bus in the original, presumably to compete with the Radeon RX 6600 or Intel's new Arc GPUs. As if Intel needed any more competition, reports are emerging claiming the 16 gigabyte Arc A770's memory clock speed is one and a half gigabits per second slower than advertised. Now it might be a software bug, if you can imagine Intel's GPUs having software issues. Crazy. So let's hope that's the case so we can avoid giving Nvidia any more money than we have to. They're smug. 
Elon Musk is apparently going to bring an end to his cursed will he, won't he Twitter stupidity on Friday, just in time for people to have time to tweet about it on the weekend. He's a businessman, he knows where to do it. Musk reportedly pledged to complete the sale of Twitter in a video call with bankers, who I guess needed the assurance before signing the credit agreement and actually sending Musk the money he needs to complete the acquisition. I feel like a billionaire buying one of the biggest social platforms shouldn't so strongly resemble the Turkish ice cream guy flipping the code around, but who knows? That's how the winners do it. Have you seen that guy? You've been to Turkey? No. Oh. The International Space Station had to fire its thrusters to avoid collision with debris from a destroyed satellite after having to perform similar maneuvers multiple times in the past year. That's all thanks to Russia destroying one of their own satellites almost a year ago, creating 1,500 trackable pieces of debris. Well, we know they're bad at destroying things. <laughs> which also came within 14 meters of a Chinese science satellite in January. I guess Russia thought it was fine because the thrusters used were attached to a Russian progress module on the ISS. It's out of space station anyway. Half of it, the same thing. Shutterstock is the latest company to partner with OpenAI to integrate their Dolly 2 AI image generator. Can't beat them, join them. I know. <laughs> No choice. In the coming months, customers will be able to use the technology to generate unique images. But the interesting thing here is Shutterstock's commitment to pay contributors whose work will be used to train the AI model that will power the service. Is that a good precedent? Yeah. Fellow stock image provider Getty Images recently banned images made using AI generators. Get out. Is that the right move instead? No, that is old thinking. We, we should ask a chatbot about this, maybe. Is there anyone? And new research published on the JAMA network found that in a study of 2,000 children, That's a lot of kids. those that regularly played video games performed better on tests involving impulse control and working memory than non-gamer kids. They're behind in a number of areas. <laughs> Intriguingly, the study used data from the ABCD data set, an ongoing project to track mental development in kids so those kids can go to their parents and demand more video game time. That's why they made the system, they hacked it, Baby geniuses. Baby geniuses. <laughs> Putting on the Ritz. And you'll be a genius if you come back on Friday for more tech news. That's how this works. You'll get a little plaque and everything. I'm lying to your face.